Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Darkest Dungeon, where we continue where we left off last time, having our friendly group make it except for our new grave robber, uh, Quivermont, who died from starvation. So that's too bad, but we have other people getting stress relief. We have about 10,000 money, so we're spinning our wheels right now. But we're going to try and see what we can do about making this a better run from this day forward. So we're going to be doing a mission just a minute. Like I said last time, we are going to be working on upgrading some of our materials here. I did get weapons first. I could possibly do armor smithing as well. I am going to be needing deeds, so we are going to be trying to go to a place that will get us deeds. Guild is another place that's pretty important. Uh, let's go ahead and... This is actually a fairly important upgrade to Every decrease the cost here. Weakness. So we do need some portraits and some crests, but I do think I want to save my crests over here for the armor smithing upgrade. So we're going to do that probably around here first, but just to show you real quick how the upgrade system works, let's take somebody who we're going to be putting on the next mission who's going to need to attack. Like Dismas, for instance. We want to upgrade his weapon at 750, now he does more damage. Hooray. It's not like a super significant upgrade up front, but it does add up over time. So like Dukins, I think that's how it's pronounced. Apologize if it's not. He does have Holy Lance and Inspiring Cry, all pretty decent, although he is a cove phobe. But right now his weapon is 6 to 12 damage if I upgrade it. Oh, it requires hero level resolve 1, that's right. Things I things I guess I used to know. Uh, let's see here, eight. we're going to be taking uh, this Man at Arms as well. But he does have Bad Gambler and Faithless, we'll talk about that in the... Uh, other building that we have here so if I increase this to the uh, private's mace it's it's a little more money each time but these upgrades are important to try and weave in when you can can also put Colonel Custard up here is gonna be going on our next mission and get that and are you a better third or fourth or you're a better third row so that's gonna work out really well all right the other place that's new that unlocked is the sanitarium which is a very important area for uh, treating diseases humors physical maladies or quirks and other problematic behaviors which, if I remember right, this is a little bit of a change uh, for how they used to do it before. So patient cells increase the number of medical slots to two, reduce disease treatment costs by 13. And yeah, pretty much you can put somebody in here for quirks. Like one quirk that I'd love to get rid of is diurnal for clumsy mind, but it's permanent. So that's stuck now. Used to be these things did not become permanent. Like he's permanently winded, so that's terrible. But we can't... But the sanitarium's only there for so many things right now, like we'll, fear of shadow, slow jaw, those are the kind of things we can try and work on later, but sanitarium gets really expensive, we're not really in a place where we need to do that yet. So we do have a few items here. Let's go ahead and hit the embark button and see what missions are available. We're going to be going to the weld, because we do need some deeds, and it is just a short mission today, and we have the possibility of getting a highwayman item, plus 10% damage for range skills. Which is a really nice item. Our other options are the Warrens. That's a short mission. Uh, this is a short mission with the Crusader. Actually, that's a pretty nice item for the Crusader. They did a whole item rebalance with all of uh, this latest Cove update. But we're going to be going to the Weld again. So I'm going to take a uh, the teams that I've kind of already started to upgrade here. I mean, we can put you in here. We can put you in here. I mean, the only, the only other thing I do definitely want to take is we do have Digby, who we can grab. I may grab him instead of Darcy. He is kind of our backup healer. Darcy has Vulnerability Hex, which is actually very useful, and Abyssal Artillery and Sacrificial Stab. Versus Digby, who uh, has Demon's Pull. So Digby may be a little bit better from the back row. And then I was thinking of taking Colonel Custard. That could work out pretty well. I mean, it's going to be Colonel Custard or Dismas, and it seems like I can probably wait for a mission and put Dismas in here. Reason being is that Colonel Custard has less stress, and I can possibly bank on Dismas having more stress and then have a more uh, effective stress relief eventually, and I don't want to upgrade his level too much, but a level 2 stress resolve could be okay. But Colonel Custard, you're doing pretty good too and while you don't have the ability that uh, clears all the corpses and I can unlock that from the blacksmith eh, it's a little tough because I want a healer 
I want man at arms for sure. And actually, in fact, the man at arms may be a little bit better in the front line here. Because you can still do Holy Lance and move yourself forward if it comes down to it. So let's do that. Yeah, I think this is going to be our team this time. So, yeah, because I'm really, I'm really torn here. Because I do have Open Vein, which does the front two, or we can get Incision. So those are kind of similar bleed effects. Or... I think, I think I'm going to go with this. It's going to be a little more consistent. And we'll bring some other people the next time here. So like I said, if you want your name on the roster here, by all means, suggest yourself. And we will see if you can, in fact, wreck yourself. But hey, let's go ahead and hit the uh, provision button here. As we have Yuma's as well, who could do good. But I think at least for what we have right now, we have a lot of people who are really good in third position. We're going to have to adjust some talents here. So we're gonna grab eight food since we don't want starvation. We're gonna grab some medical herbs because sometimes in the well you can actually pick up some other things. So we're down to 5,000 money. We've gotta make this mission count. But let's go ahead and embark. So the dogs are being a little weird again, so I'll have to deal with that. You'll see my people are already a little stressed as is. And I think I had some items that I forgot to equip, which is too bad, but turn out the lights. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners. And let's go ahead place. and move to this room. Now we have to explore 90% of the rooms, which I think means we pretty much need to do all but one. Same thing like last time. Oh wow, I missed a trap right away. That is too bad. If I was looking down on the ground, I could have seen that. And we're blighted right away. So Dismas might be a problem unless he can get some crits. Because that's a lot of stress to begin with already. And everyone's going to be getting a little bit of stress because the lights are all the way out. So that's kind of the counterpoint for uh, this. But we still get a scout, which is good. We do have at least one room fight coming up. So let's go ahead and do that. Our one hallway fight. And it's ectoplasm. Surely this is not going to go as badly as the last time I had to fight you guys. Now, what's their blue? Oh, oh. Well, didn't mean to do that attack, but because I was just trying to check their bleed resist. So we are just going to go ahead and see if we can crush you before you can attack. Try and deny those as much as possible. They do leave little goopy corpses. That sucked. And let's go ahead and reconstruct. Please don't bleed. Oh, you bled. So that's a net negative healing. Now the question is, does he reproduce? Yes. Do pistol shot this time. There we go. And let's try healing again. This could potentially do multiple bleeds, but eight healing is much better. Alright, so we got both of you down. Zealous accusation. Can we get the double kill? Yes. Give them no quarter. So we win the fight. We get a crate. Crate's empty. You're still you're still talking all your stress junk. So that's too bad. Yeah, you're gonna take some damage. Welcome to Darkest Dungeon, where you may or may not die. All right, so nothing here. The next room, fairly straightforward. Let's look. <coughs> Old tree. And there's treasures in the tree, so we get a few busts. We do have this thing. Troubling effigy. Let's put the holy water on it. It has a powerful effect, and Beast Slayer. Is that a permanent trait? Yes, it is. Lots of stuff versus Beast. That's not as great for uh, an occultist to get, but look at this. We're already hungry. My, my people, I guess they're stress eating. I don't know. Maybe I need to start bringing more food than what I have then. But all we have to do is just explore the room. So, oh boy, we're going to need to dig, dig, and not hit the wrong button this time for that. So let's watch the ground and make sure we don't hit a trap. More loot. And wow. Bounty hunter item plus two speed, which could be a nice offset for the uh, ability the already has. We're probably about to get in another fight, though. No, not yet. Just a little more scouting. Okay, we got two fights for sure. So it's one of these times where it's just a little too quiet. For my liking. Okay, we do have a little box here. Uh, it has a lock on it. And, oh good. Uh, plus 20 to heal skills. That's actually really nice. 
So at least if we have to bail, we've gotten some good items out of this. But let's see if we can get a good fight here. March friends, we have a bunch of Eldritch, and we surprised them somehow. I guess they weren't expecting people to be walking this far in the dark. All right now, the Brawlers are tough because they can put on a lot of bleed damage in a hurry. But let's see if we can go ahead and take out maybe one right away. I guess if we do Weakening Curse, that's a sure fight to kill. Alright. Now that can hit the back line if we really need to. Sucks that we missed that one. Alright, so there's your enemy crits. And he actually moved himself forward. Stressful Incantation on Dismas, that's the right target for that. So he is about to test his resolve, and he's irrational. Okay. Reeling. Gasping. We shall do it on. Okay. Into madness. So that's what I get for taking the person that is a little more stressed. That's right. I cast stressful incantation. I guess uh, if he hits 200 stress, he may do something a little new and exciting. This is going to stress everyone else out too. So let's go ahead and hit you. Well, that's that's nice that he could actually hit the first three. Rows. Alright, let's see if we can get a kill. Bleed damage would be great, of course we resist. Anybody need healing yet? Now let's hit you. Alright. And uh, let's Holy Lance you. Okay, that didn't work out. Okay, so his his stress. This is great because I haven't read as much into some of the stuff. I don't exactly know what happens with this. I think this is a good time for. Uh... Oh, that was the wrong ability. I just shot a corpse. Good job. Okay, so that's going to be bleed, of course. So inefficient healing is great. Oh wow, he actually bleeds for two. So they're just going straight after Dismas here. Like I said, I don't know when his stress goes all the way up if he just like goes into some kind of coma or something. And I'm sure by the time he sees some comments we'll be able to say something. But we do get to take everything here. We're not going to eat food. We don't... Okay, that bleeds a little annoying. So let's go ahead and bandage. And we'll see if we can get anything in this room. Maybe with an occultist, I want to take two bandages. Okay, spiders. There'll be no blood left for these leeches. I think that's from his trait here. So, dagger, flintlock, through. Oh! So, actual automatic attack. That's nice. And he relieves a little bit of stress, which is good. Good. And let's see here. Phobia. Yeah, he just he's just excited to kill things. So we're we deal with that. Let's go ahead and heal up. What? Heal okay, so that can now heal for zero, or I miss something. Alright, or maybe Crusaders don't like being healed in that way. Please get some bleed damage, thank you. So we get a guaranteed kill here. Yeah, heal zero to ten. At least he didn't bleed. I, I like that change a lot, and I'm sure if I upgrade the skill we'll get a better range. But if it can still do some, uh, that's this better balance. He's taken. going pretty well. Famous last words. Dismas still very excited about everything. Let's reach into this trunk. Sometimes a tree is just a tree. Truer words were not spoken. Alright, so all we have to do is explore 90% of rooms. Which means if this isn't a room battle, we may be able to dodge something. But chances are it is a room battle. Loot! So Antivenom's good, Jade's good, Money's good. This is this is going pretty well if we can just avoid some kind of disaster. That's a... Let's see here. Uh, use Antivenom. Since we just got it, why not? I mean, medical herbs, if you see like a dog corpse or something laying around here, you can get food for yourself. But since this is the last room... I don't think we need to worry too much about food and eating, so maybe we can hold off on that and actually get like 200 gold back. Oh good, ectoplasms. And we're surprised, of course. 
Really? Okay. Right, wait, as long as you're not skipping your turn. Okay. Crush. Good start. Well, gelatin slap never hurt anybody too badly. And let's go ahead and see. You don't actually hit too well here, so let's see if we can heal you. That's good. He's gonna bleed too, but that's part of the healing. And this is gonna reproduce. Alright. Holy well, lands to the back line. Plus, that gets him to move forward, so that's a good way to counteract surprise a little bit. I think I can manage this one. As long as Dismas doesn't do something stupid. Like marking himself. Alright, pistol shots. Let's see if we can make this work. Okay, just gotta do one damage to you. So please let Weakening Curse do that one damage. There we go. Nice way to end it. We're gonna continue adventuring because Success we want what's in this treasure chest. Or is it merely a trick of and we get. More crest, another portrait, and some gold. So, I would call that a pretty damn successful mission. Every cleared path and charted route I mean, sometimes all you need... Yeah. Sorry to interrupt the narrator there, but sometimes all you need is just one healer to kind of have your back. But overall, that was a very strong line of people. Didn't get as many deeds as I'd like, and that's one of the... I guess early game frustrations for some people with this is that you do kind of have to grind the well just a little bit, but <coughs> good highwayman item. And we do get some good resolve experience for people. I don't know why we're getting that tooltip again. Now he is irrational. He's going to need to be treated. But we do have a bunch of people who are resolve level one. He's resolve level two. So, oh boy. Uh, stress resist if torch below 26. We're going to need to fix that now. Plus 10% damage melee skills, so that's fine. Compulsive and uh, armor tinkerer. That's good. Upgrade cost add up. And nymphomania. 20% stress heal in a brothel. That's new, or it's one I haven't seen. Let's return to town and we'll, we got to fix this guy. Okay, so Reynold only recovered a little bit of stress. Clumsy Mind uh, is trying on, on, on and refuses to leave the bar yet. Clumsy Mind had a night of town and recovered 56% stress and is no longer selfish. So Clumsy, you're still, you're still drinking. I hope that means you get more stuff. Chauncey could not achieve a meditative state and has become frustrated. Unquiet Mind may not meditate. Still recovered 56 stress. And... Paxtor has returned, I guess, with a lot lower stress, so that's that's pretty nice. But before we end this episode here, let's look at the sanitarium real quick. We do need to treat this. And if we treat... We have any, that's only 1,500. Okay, those are all only 1,500. So that's not terrible. That's, that's better than I expected. So click this, and then we get why the leather straps, because you are going to learn to love the darkness. Okay, what other stress relief? Now Dismas here, he won't gamble. Oh, he actually, these are all just getting permanent super fast. That's okay. So he's still drinking at the bar. You're cloistering, so I guess Dismas, you're just going to have to uh, pray. And we'll see if that helps you being irrational. Who else has really high stress? Aubrey actually did okay there. Only, I, I still think... I still think that's enough to uh, try and get him some kind of stress relief. Chauncey's doing okay. Koval's doing okay. And pretty much, if we keep them on the bench, they'll cover some stress naturally. And it, you never see the little icons come up because of uh, when I load and unload the video. The stagecoach doesn't really have anybody new that I need right now. So do we have 10 deeds yet? No, we only have eight. Because our next key upgrade is gonna be to uh, upgrade the armor smith and then we need to upgrade some of these items here because once you get that, then you, uh, w once you get all of these upgrades together, then you can really go to town with getting your people stronger and it makes a lot of the content 
it's you can't really over level your people but having weapons and stuff is key if you're doing a torchless run to take home bosses and stuff that's a lot harder there but that's it for now this is asher successful mission we're sitting on quite a bit of money and our stress situation is actually doing pretty good so next time we'll get some viewers in there by all means if you want your name thrown in the death roster tell me thanks for watching i'll see you next time